Hey, what's up everyone? Hope you're all having a wonderful time. In Soul Masters, a lot of grind to do, gear to be made and very time consuming also. And this can be helped out by using NPCs to help around with your assignments for your base. And depending on what tribe your NPC is from, we'll decide what extra talents that they will get. And here we're going over the Fang tribe, which is going to be the best for your worker NPCs, as we'll get exclusive talents like Planting Pro that will improve the output of plants and harvested plants. Logging Pro is another one that makes trees grow back faster once cut down. And also Labor's Perk will increase the proficiency growth rate by quite a bit for logging, mining, planting and harvesting, sometimes even over 100%. Really nice to have all of these and there's a lot of different ones to be found. And of course that's one of the charms with Soul Mask. Currently there are three decent subclasses that's uh, specific for the Fang tribe. We have the Laborer which is going to be the typical worker for gathering materials like logging, mining, harvesting and also farming. And then we also have the craftsman, which you might guess is most for crafting and that's going to be your tools, armor and also weapons. And then lastly we have the porter, which is the most used for your different uh, workstations like furnace, loom or also the tanning rack. So where do you find them you might ask? The easiest place I found is going to be at the Barbarian Barrack just south of the hill portal. And the NPCs here are between 20 and 30, so they are not too hard to take down. And also this gives you room to level them up for even more perks and also to remove some of the negative ones uh, that they might have on them. And this village here is a, a quite large one, but the best part with this is that all of these worker NPCs are basically standing at the start of this village, so you don't have to clear it all to be able to obtain them. You won't really find any workers at the first platform here, but once you go down the stairs and to the second platform, here is where you will start to find your first workers. And you will see some of the workers standing at the workstations against the mountain wall here. And then just underneath this area uh, you have a cave path that goes through the mountain here to the left of us and here is where you will find most of them working and you can feel free to grab as many as you like. As a bonus as we're talking about the village here uh, is uh, the next area which will be in the center and here is where you will find farms also for this village and for this one here you can find pumpkins, corn and the important one here is going to be the tobacco. And if you spec into quality assessment, you can also see the different ranks on the NPC. On the diamond icon here, you have white, green, blue, purple, gold and red, where red is going to be the best one. And this is going to indicate how great the stat is on your NPC. However, I don't think that this will impact the talents though. So if you just are going to have them AFK at the furnace, for example, uh, that might not be a big deal if you manage to get the right talent for that NPC. Before going into the barracks, I recommend you build yourself a simple respawn point outside of the area. Uh, building it like this will prevent the campfire from uh, going out if there would start to rain. And having a llama with the, the extended seat cushion is also really recommended as you can just call it down uh, to you when you're finished so you don't have to run all the way back yourself with your NPC. And if you're looking for some higher level NPCs, there's also a barbarian barrack to the north instead of us here. Uh, or if you have the wetland portal unlocked, it's just going to be south of that location. And here there are going to be between level 35 and 40 instead. And also the workers here are a bit further into the barracks though. So do keep that in mind. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. And if you got any other questions, feel free to... If you got any other questions, feel free to drop a comment. And I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. And also feel free to share in the comments if you found any great talents for your NPCs. And with that said... I'll see you in the next one. Bye.